Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits. Leave the rest if you would like to get a personal reading. There's a link in the description box below. Um, so this reading is for all Virgos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, you um, can hit the like, share, and subscribe button if you truly enjoy this reading. Okay, Virgo, how are you? We're going to take a look here at the past position um, with somebody that you may have been dealing with in the past. See what their energies are. We've got the future. I'm sorry, the present here. Oh, look, you're showing up in your reading here. Maybe some of you are connected. There might be an Aquarius or Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Um, and then the future. Okay. Let's take a look and see what the love messages are here in the past or what was may have been occurring in the past. Okay. Well, I definitely feel like you are a wish fulfillment for this person. Okay. Definitely. Um, this person uh, may have hesitated a lot with you in the past with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. That's an energy of like delaying and waiting. Okay. I do feel like that when they looked at you or when they saw you, there was this energy of like... You know they felt very hopeful for you they were they wanted to renew that hope um you know how they had faith in the connection and the nine of cups is like a wish come true and those are both wish cards um so th they thought that you were the one for them okay there really wasn't anybody else there's a past life it, it almost feels like for your person they felt like you've known each other forever there was a, a very strong familiarity that um came from that they sensed within you or that they were picking up from you. Why were they delaying? Okay, well, for some, you know, this person could just very well be someone who has to be sure before investing. Okay, Seven of Pentacles energy. You know, it's like they weren't ready to give in just yet. Um, maybe they were a little lazy, um, but there could have also been an energy like, you know, they wanted to make sure that whatever effort or investment they made in your connection, that um, there would be some kind of reward. Now also, yeah, seven of cups. So two sevens, again, um, just not sure about commitment is what I feel like. Um, seven of cups is always like commitment issues. Okay, having many options, not really being sure, which is the best. I do feel like they, they definitely in the past felt like, you know, you're, you're the one for them. Okay. Um, and they did think or feel like, wow, Virgo, Virgo could, this, this Virgo could be the one for me. Okay. But they just needed that. <laughs> they just kind of stalled. It feels like they were stalling here. They needed, they were seeking clarity to be sure. Why is the nine of cups here? Okay. Justice. So this person was trying to be fair with you um, in the past. Um, definitely was, they did see a win-win type of energy with you. Like it feels, okay, this is Libra energy as well. So I feel like this person um, was definitely hoping to be fair and reasonable with you, um, to have a sense of truth. Um, to bring truth to the connection, to tell you that they felt like you were the one for them. Maybe they did tell you that, or maybe they were just waiting um, to be, or they waited to express that to you. Okay, um, let's see why the star card is here. Yep, two of swords. So this person just kind of held back. They were like caused a stalemate, a lot of hesitation. Even though they felt like you were the one for them, they couldn't, for some reason, they weren't sure about bringing it forward. But I do feel like they um, tried to be fair and tried to be honest with you about things in the past, okay? Um, and that's just that. Let's take a look at this present energy here. Calling in your soulmate. Oh, this person's, you're going to be receiving a phone call from them. Current energy. Okay, this person, codependency. All right, this person does have codependency issues. Very codependent. Um, this person, it feels like they need you. It feels like um, you come, you, they look at you here with this Queen of Pentacles as being pretty stable, uh, or at least financially stable or good with your work and pretty structured and solid. 
okay resourceful perhaps um maybe you're like kind of like a leader or you're you're good at your investments but look here's the knight of wands so they have a very strong passionate um uh strong like fiery passion towards you the physical attraction is very strong and the four of wands i mean this person i kind of feel like um you're going to get some kind of phone call from them that um there there's a reunion they want to see you or they want to connect with you um family friends celebrations homecoming that kind of thing um wow it looks like they may have made up their mind um about wanting to come into a committed relationship with you or even marriage let's take a look maybe introducing a family coming to meet your family um taking it you know to another level let's take a look at this knight of wands here okay nine of swords so this person it's it, so some of it does feel like their passion towards you and coming towards you has a lot to do with them relieving some anxieties that they have within some stress or some depression um if you guys aren't like it's almost as if like that codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so i do kind of get a sense that sometimes this person reaches out to you because they just feel such a heavy void or loss like um anxious anxiety about not being in communication with you um and so maybe it just kind of helps them relieve their anxiety when they get to talk to you and find out that maybe everything's okay or that you're still there the four of wands okay yeah this person's definitely going to take some action though as far as marriage commitment goes the chariot this is cancer energy um it's all about the moon and and the um the emotions okay this is making voluntary changes and that chariot energy that's like getting in the car plane train whatever um and taking some kind of trip or journey toward you um to to where you live or your home okay um whether you are at a distance to one another or you are like right next door there's going to be like this coming towards you energy why is the yeah the queen of pentacles you have the ace they see you as like a huge like a golden opportunity like you're the person you're the one for them okay um they want to invest and they see that they are aware that that's something that you want and they i feel like you're going to get a phone call from them telling you you know um they've been praying about it and they've been thinking about it and they visualize the two of you together and they want to try to make you know this thing happen where they were stalling in the past okay they weren't sure in the past about maybe if it was between you and others or if it was just the commitment issues on the table with them or an issue about doing that like coming into full union with you let's take a look at this future energy here okay free yourself retreat hmm the only thing i have to say is that you know in the future <sighs> I feel like your person um in the future is is feels freer when they're with you like they will be feeling that way and will want to disconnect from the world and spend more time with you i feel like going forward there's going to be a lot of like sneaking around between the two of you but but there may be a discussion about um going public let's take a look at this seven of swords here okay queen of pentacles again so you keep showing up in your reading here um i feel like um this i feel like your person and maybe you're dealing with another earth sign but or they're coming across that way i feel like your person is you're going to have discussions about uh something to do like i do see them coming towards you but i feel like going forward it'd be like a lot of um Maybe there's this discussion about how they ran away from you um, and they're going to try not to do that anymore or avoid things. There's also this, um, ah, it's just a sense of like, you guys are not fully out into the open with one another, which is very strange, okay? Um, this can be like, I feel like there is this thing about maybe withholding um, information and um, 
them communicating with you it feels mostly about like why things have been under wraps or why they were holding back or they weren't revealing things to you even though they felt the way they felt um they'll tell you that you know they've been very smitten with you um for the longest time and the communication with you about that they'll talk to you about their ideas plans things like that going forward okay Mm, the tower <laughs> so they definitely have a very physical thing for you okay it's like pretty orgasmic and there's going to be conversation like communication or text messages or something like that in the future um and about how like you for some of you they'll tell you that you broke them down like their ego is what i feel that tower energy is um very strong for that it that tower energy is like it's a boom it's kind of like unforeseen these things that this person tells you comes out of the blue and it's a bit shocking um going forward in the future you know like it's it really does change everything you know like when they'll tell you that when they're around you um they can't be in their ego state <laughs> It's weird. It's very weird. Okay. And now we have the Page of Cups. And oh my gosh, there's so much love here, Virgo, from this person in the future. It's like I feel, you know, they want to come to you and they don't want to let you go. It's There is codependency here. And that, that is like a, a sense of like being a bit kind of addicted to you in a lot of ways, maybe addicted to the physical passion. Um, but I do feel like there's love here. I do feel like they have a heart for you. And uh, I do feel like they want to disconnect, you know, both of you free yourselves from things, take control back and spend time together, um, retreat, um, get closer, get to know one another, whether again, or if this is somebody new and just really connecting that page of cups is like, that's new love here. Okay. Um, so ex that's expressions of love. You've got three pages and luckily you don't have the page of swords. So that's very positive. Okay. Um, this person does have a little bit of immaturity on their side um, in the way they communicate with you, and it's just their way. Uh, some of you I hear like, I sometimes I feel like I'm talking to a child. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what their love message is here. Healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Intuition, you already know the answer they seek. So this person is definitely here. They may have like caused um a pause in the relationship in the past but it was mostly because they were trying to make a decision of figuring out how to compromise um how to give you what they want and get their needs met as well and i feel like they come forward and there's like a conversation that they want to come see you or they want to connect with you or spend some time with you there may be conversation about codependency um that them but that maybe they won't use those words but say something along the lines you know like i've been out there there's nobody else for me you're the one um i can't let you go you know that kind of thing there's like a very strong bond okay regret they feel remorse for the way that they treated you virgo in the past they remember every detail of the last time that you spent together okay they probably yeah i left you before you could leave me so that's an energy of like wait stop even if they didn't leave, but they stopped communicating with you or not saying anything to you um, for a very long time, they did that on purpose because um, of their remorse and regret and not knowing whether or not you would take them back fully or maybe something that happened the last time that was pivotal or significant between the two of you. Like maybe it was a breakup and this person, rem they can't stop thinking about that and they have a lot of regrets for that. New love or recommitment to love is developing here so that's what i was saying about the page of cups there is new love there's like um, a spark i think that was in one of the readings i did the reigniting of a of an old spark that you both had together at one time um yep chemistry there is chemistry the attraction you feel is mutual so if you doubt that this person is attracted to you virgo um stop because it's still there for them it's still there. Okay, my life is not as together as it seems. Okay, yeah. I think this person probably just kind of masks a little or puts on a front that they got it all together, but it's just a front because they don't want you to feel like they're incompetent or not good enough. Um, but I feel like that's something you should know that that's how they feel. This is a true love connection. The love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. 
Okay, so I feel like you know that this is a true love connection. Um, and you probably have always wondered if they felt that same way. Um, maybe recently you've come to realize that they really, it really is a true love connection. Um, but they're coming to see that at this time. They can't stop thinking about you, Virgo. Okay. But you need patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. So it feels like you just need to be um, confident and positive. You will hear from this person. They will be calling you soon. Um, I'm going to pull some um, advice cards here for you. If I can pick them up. Okay, Virgo. What does Spirit want to say to you? Oh, well, you have the nine of earth. Enjoy the fruits of your labors, Virgo. Whatever's going on in your life, career, health, whichever, enjoy those things. They're most important. Um, I'm working hard. You know, it says hard work that has led to a luxurious life. So maybe some of you feel like you're in a, a, a position where you can enjoy um, a luxury. Maybe some of you don't care about that. Um, there, the advice here also, buy yourself something special right now, Virgo. Something that makes you feel good. Uh, something that gives you a sense of, um, you know, that just gives you good feelings, okay? I don't care if it's like a hamburger, a new lipstick, or a gym membership. Whatever it is, do something uh, special for yourself that makes you feel happy, okay? Enjoy and be happy with your, um, for those of you who are in self um, self-employed, that you are able to continue work. This is all about gratitude. Um, and th this time that you are in solitude, um, take that time to enjoy being with self because I feel like right at this moment, um, maybe you miss somebody or you are, are hoping for, um, um, and by the way, I was just seeing somebody walking. Hello, Deborah. How are you? I hope you're enjoying this video. Um, take some time to enjoy the time that you have to yourself where you are, you know, doing special things for yourself. Okay. You're each going through these separate journeys, these different processes, and perhaps you both were not on the same page for a long time. It's okay. It's okay. I feel like things are going to come back together between you and your person. Um, I feel like there was a lot of hesitation or they needed to go out and discover things on their own or figure things out for themselves. Allow them to do that. Just stay in a positive place for yourself, Virgo. All right. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.